Hello! All right, this course will cover some of my favorite books and topics that I found useful, as well as research and scientific studies when it comes to talking about how learning and the brain works. I have also combined some of my own advice and recommendations to hopefully find the essence of learning how to learn. So what does the course look like? You see, in order for us to get to our end goal of being efficient learners, we need a roadmap and an overview of what we are covering. So let's see the course outline. Instead of jumping straight to the techniques without any background, any foundation, we need to start off with the principles. And the principles are the shift in our mindset. We need to learn a few things and have the right frame of mind to really apply the techniques that we're going to learn later in the course. We're going to learn about really exciting topics like skill stacking, about the Pareto principle, and a lot of other things that we can apply as our foundation to learning. We then dive into the lies. These are the often told lies that we hear over and over when it comes to learning or growing in your career. We're going to debunk some of those lies. Once we're done with that, we're going to go into the pillars. These are the foundational four pillars that we need to become masters, to learn a topic and get to mastery. From there, we would have built our foundation with the principles, the lies, and the pillars, where we have the right mindset, we know what is true and what it isn't, and we have the pillars in place to really learn proper learning techniques. This is when the course gets really exciting. We dive into the science section. And this section is all about looking at actual research and science of how our brain works, how we can use this knowledge to be efficient learners. We're going to cover topics like how to deal with procrastination and what science has told us about dealing with procrastination. We're going to talk about research that is the most effective in helping you master a tough subject. Things like deliberate practice, space repetition. We're going to talk about really interesting studies and back what we're about to learn in the last section. And that is the techniques. This is the part of the course that you're going to love. This is where we take all that we've learned up until now. All the foundations, all the science, and what we know about how the brain works to use these techniques. And these techniques aren't just fun little things like use flashcards. Instead, these techniques are lifelong techniques that you can use to be an efficient learner. By the end of it all, through exercises and worksheets, you'll create your own framework that you can take and apply for any topic and discipline you want in your life. You will know how to go from zero to mastery on your own. Now, before we get started with the course, you may be asking, um, Andre, who are you? Who am I and why should you trust me? You know what? I'd be asking the same question if I was in your shoes. First off, I'm offended. No, I'm just kidding. Let me give you a little bio super quick about me and why I think I'm qualified to teach the subject. I'm a surf instructor. I'm a yoga instructor. I'm the captain of one of the top adventure racing teams in Ontario, where we race using maps and compass navigation for multiple days. I've started four businesses. I've taught myself to code and worked in places like Silicon Valley and Toronto. And I've also taught over 200,000 people around the world how to code just like me, who now work in places like Google and Amazon. I had none of these skills before I graduated college. I learned all these skills from scratch in my 20s. I also speak four languages. But here's the thing. I'm not special. I'm not the hardest worker. I'm never the person that says, ooh, I'm so busy. I'm just an efficient learner. I'm now in my mid-30s and I'm doing what I love. And I've been using this framework for learning that I'll be teaching you throughout my life. As a matter of fact, I'd rather teach you what other professionals suggest, what the science says about the brain. Although I give some of my own advice and recommendations in this course, At the end of the day, it's more powerful and practical when you learn from multiple sources, which is why throughout the course, I'll be citing all the facts and ideas that aren't my own. 
For example, remember how in the introduction video I said speed reading is a lie? Well, every video when I make a statement like that will contain this little thing at the bottom that will cite the research to back that claim. For example, the World Economic Forum predicts that 75 million roles will be eliminated due to technological changes over the coming years. However, other advances will result in development of 133 million new roles requiring new skills in the coming years. These are roles and skills that nobody has yet because they haven't been developed. Okay, okay, one last thing. This is our community of zero to mastery self learners. We have a community of over 80,000 members online chatting every day who are self learners motivated to learn throughout their lives, helping each other grow, talking about technology and other interesting topics to make sure that you finish the course, you succeed in this course and also throughout your life. This is an optional resource, but it's one of my favorite things that we offer with the course. As a matter of fact, I love the community so much that I'm on there every single day chatting as well. Okay, that felt like a lot of information and I know you're getting excited, I am too. So let's focus on you and how you can become an efficient learner. Let's get started. 